Hello, this is Oliver, and I'm going to walk you through the new version of the Tauri Stage training app. So let me input my credentials. This is just a new design of the login screen. You will be using your actual credentials, so don't worry about that. So you are keeping your current credentials, so let me log in now. Now, as you can see here, you will be able to see what courses you, you have access to. And if you click all courses, you will be able to see what are all the courses of Tauri Stage at this moment. So let me go back to my courses screen and I'm going to use the Q01 practical. Here we have a simple course description. And now here we have two different modes. We have the learning mode that is just a free mode where you can go around and inspect the simulator by yourself. And we have the testing mode where besides going around through the simulator, you get asked questions like in a real test. So we generate randomly 50 questions per day. So that way we're able to provide different questions and different tests every day. So let me uh, click first the learning mode, that is the basic one. Now, don't worry because you can switch between these modes at any time during the simulator. Now we have two options. We have the text, that is the default one, and we have text and voice. Basically, we have a machine that speaks to you once you, uh, you get asked a question. So let me select the text option because I have uh, muted the audio because now we also have a voice system that I will show you that later. Okay, so now also here we can switch between learning and testing mode. And we have here the list of simulators. For now we have a single one. So it's simple, just click this one and you will see a simple description again. This time is the description of the simulator. Now we have a new important feature we have. Now we can interact with other students, so it's like an online multiplayer version of the simulator. So if we have 10, 10 students in this course, we will be able to see them in 3D and speak to them. We will be able to observe them. So we have many more features. Let me join to the simulator. Okay, so we are now, so you are, you are familiar with this simulator because it's, the design is the same. But now we have many features and a new design. Here in this learning mode, we can switch between learning mode and testing mode. Let me switch to the testing mode so I can show you how it looks like. It's loading the questions. So now you get asked 50 questions you need to answer them. And the first one is, where's the fill line in pressurization system? Let me just pick a random one. When you get close to a machine, you have here the button start inspecting. Once you are inspecting the machine, you have the button to stop inspecting. And basically, if you click something, you highlight it. If you double click it, you hide it. And once you hide a component, you have here the show all objects button to reset the machine so you can see it, the entire machine again. Once you are sure about your question, you can just click on a component. So it would be left click a component. And now you have this button submit answer. Once you click it, now it loads the next, the next question. And that's how it works. Every time you ask, uh, you answer a question, you get the next, the next, the next question until you finish the quiz and you finish the test and you can see your results. And 
as I explained, we have a voice system, so you can you have here the mute button. If you click it now, it means that you are muted. So this will be very helpful because you will have several students trying to stu to study at the same time. You will be able to see them walking through the simulator. You will see them inspecting a machine. We have here the students button that will open the list and will you will see here the other students that are online in this simulator. Here you can also see that we have 0% success rate because I've gotten two incorrect answers and you will be able to see here that I've answered two questions but I don't have any correct answers yet. We have this can I be observed button uh, as I explained other students can observe you and see exactly what you're doing. I can disable that just by toggling this switch now if it's off nobody can observe me and as well let me uh, go back to the learning mode because there's something I want to show you and it's that we are working and adding and adding more descriptions to every component we have right now a thousand and five hundred components in the database so it's taking a while to add descriptions to everything if I'm inspecting a machine and I click anything as a, in learning mode, now I can see here the name of the component and the description. I can unselect all objects. And we have here the switch view. So if you want to use the first person view. And now we have a new button that it's the lessons button. If we click it, we have here all the lessons that we have uh, for this course. If I select, for example, the centrifugal chiller, it means I want to learn more about the centrifugal chiller. Now I have the description of this lesson. It's a simple description. We have next, we have the, uh, the option again to switch the mode between learning and testing mode. If you go to video, we have here all the videos of the um, of the uh, tower stage uh, data. We have here the PDFs. If I click it, I will be able to see it here through the web view. We have the option to like a lesson or unlike a lesson and we have the option to send feedback. Basically, it will be very helpful to us so we can improve every lesson or we can see if we have any mistakes there or we need to do any modifications. So it would be really appreciated if you take the time to send feedback in every lesson that you check. And we have other ones, other lessons it's separated into different categories so it's easier for you to find specific content and basically that's the main things here we can go here and now we are on the next floor and we can exit whenever we want and we are back into this screen and we have here the button to log out that will send us back to this login screen.